How clean is our water? Hi, Kickstarters. My name's Chris. I've studied medicine and electronics, and I'd like to show you my creation, a spec shot. It's an affordable handheld water scanner. It can hold up to five samples at a time and these are uploaded online to look for the presence of metals or plastics dissolved in the water. You can upload as many times as you like. The spec shot functions as a spectral photometer. White light is passed through a liquid into a detector. The presence of dark bands seen in the spectrum are recorded. These dark bands are unique for every material. The spec shot records these patterns or fingerprints and these are compared with an online reference library of prints in our database to look for matches. We call this database Water Drop. It's our aim to have a public, user-generated map of water contamination in the world that anyone can use and download. We would record both fresh and salt water as well as bottled, tap, and rainwater. All samples are tagged by a location taken. This system will be so useful in so many settings, such as checking your drinking water at home, investigating pollution in the outdoors. If you have a mobile device, pair it with Bluetooth. Your location and sample will be uploaded on the spot and WaterDrop will begin looking for matches. And it's easy to use. Just press the button and wait for the beep. Mr. I've been a doctor for the last 35 years and in those 35 years I've worked in a small city. Become increasingly concerned that that pollution of various kinds is getting into the water supply, into the air, into the soil. And this concerns me. When Chris came to me with the spec shot idea, I was excited. And, and if we can make this information available to all, then I think we can ensure that the water supply of the future is is safe. This device. I think can change the world. I've been working on this device for over a year now. Initially as a medical device, I soon realized a more broader application for it. The guts are very simple. It consists of a light and a sensor that move back and forth like in a scanner over the optics in the front of the case. It's controlled by an Atmega chip, the same as an Arduino. It can be reprogrammed as such by plugging it into a USB port. I'll provide the schematics and source code on the website to keep it open source. Keeping in mind that this is really a beta test device, I have left expansion ports on the board so upgrades can be simply installed onto the existing hardware. We approached Kickstarter for two reasons. The first is, of course, to raise money to manufacture the device. We need plastic injection molds and printed circuit boards made by a manufacturer in the U.S. The second is that we want to gather as much data as possible. An all or nothing campaign ensures that this can happen. With more samples uploaded, the larger the library. The larger the library, the more materials it can reliably detect. This has the potential to be a powerful tool if you share in on our vision. For Kickstarters, the spec shot starts at $30 with upgrades available. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to look at our video and to consider supporting our project. I believe that this is a great project and we could really use your help in spreading the word about SpecShot, in taking samples and in purchasing the device. We'd like to get this project going and we need your help. Thank you.